So how did Senator Barack Obama's overseas trip resonate with voters? A brand new USA Today Gallup poll shows that only Democrats were impressed, with 53% calling the trip positive. Republicans overwhelming re overwhelmingly rejected the trip, while 41% of independents held no opinion at all. The poll also reveals voters are twice as likely to classify media coverage of Obama as unfairly positive rather than unfairly negative. And in the case of McCain, the opposite is the truth, with many more seeing coverage of him as negative. Joining us now, nationally syndicated radio talk show host Mike Gallagher, former Get Park campaign manager Steve Elmendorf, and Washington Times columnist Tony Blankley. Uh, Mike, you and I talk about this often on the radio. No big surprises here, uh, especially in light of him, you know, abandoning the troop visit because the cameras weren't al allowed and, and the campaign wasn't allowed. Uh, I think this is a net negative for him in the end. Your thoughts? Oh, it has to be. I mean, it's it's stunning that he's not. Uh, it doesn't have a commanding lead right now in the polls. But even with the fawning media coverage, the kernels of truth slip out. I mean, Sean, did you notice in the big cover story in People Magazine this week, it was uh, revealed that the Obamas don't believe in giving their children Christmas presents or birthday gifts. Yeah. Now it, we've been looking for proof that they're socialists. <laughs> there it is. There's proof positive <laughs> that this is a socialist family. These children are going to have a lifetime of therapy to have to contend with. They don't give them. They don't give them. Christmas or birthday presents? You got to be kidding me, uh, Tony. Blankly, I don't know how big a factor that's going to be, but, but it certainly is entertaining by my friend Mike. Uh, uh, your overall thought is this: I think this is now a net negative, but there's more important uh, an issue at hand here, and that is he cannot break out and hold a number. He's just he. It seems that there is you know doubt after doubt after doubt that is raised, and I don't see how he overcomes that, Tony. Do you? Well, I, we're in a fascinating campaign. Neither McCain nor Obama seem to have the capacity to, to, to really enthrall half of the country. Uh, we have two, I mean, people haven't said this, but two fairly weak candidates. They may be wonderful men or bad men. I think McCain is, would be a solid president. I have my doubts about Obama, obviously. But at, at an electoral level, they both show surprising weakness. Uh, McCain bumping up at about 45 percent, Obama bumping up at about 47 or 48 yeah. percent. And it may well be that this is going to be the lesser of evils kind of an election. You know, Steve, I think there's an emergency narrative on uh, Barack Obama and it's really simple it's this that he's a quintessential politician that is now he's changed every major position he had in the nominating process and it just means that he just wants to say and do anything that he needs to say and do because he wants to get elected and all these choreographed you know photo events are being seen for what they are it's it's actually change we can believe in change his views change his mind change his principles <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I, I, you're the only place where I've heard that narrative. Everywhere else in the country, the narrative is that Barack Obama is going to bring change to Washington and change to America. And he's ahead right now in all of these polls. I know you think he should be more ahead, but the fact of the matter is that he is Actually, consistently no, beating no. John Among McCain. Among likely voters in the Gallup poll, he's down by four. That is right. one poll. If you go to real clear said polls, all these John, polls, I just say one. That's enough. Look okay. at the Susan, average of all the polls. He is ahead consistently. The average. Of, well, of it's course, when you're losing one, you want to go to the average. Susan. It's going to be a close election. <laughs> Democrats are going to take nothing for granted. But the fact of the matter is that Barack Obama has the edge right now because John McCain isn't talking about the issues that matter to the American people. He doesn't have anything to say about the I mean, economy, like gas which prices. Is people care about. Anyway, Susan, right. Hey, Mike, first of all, my yeah. condolences on your loss. Thank you, Susan. I, I, I appreciate wanted, that. Yeah, ditto to, for you me. Know. Let me Thank ask you, you a question. I mean, McCain's people were complaining last week they were getting no press coverage. Meanwhile, they had him in a golf cart with 41. They had him at a German <laughs> restaurant. They had him in the cheese counter. I mean, the luckiest thing that happened to him last week was that he didn't get any <coughs> coverage. What's wrong with the McCain campaign? Well, what's going to happen, Susan, is where the rubber meets the road is when you take these two men and put them together. And I'm telling you, if there was ever merit to debates, this is the time. Because when, when the American people see, all the media coverage now has been independent of one another. You've got Obama over in front of 200,000 fainting fraulines, as uh, Charles Krautheimer put it, over in Berlin. You've got McCain on a golf cart. But when you put these men together on a stage and they go one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to see one with experience, one with some wisdom, and the other one who's out of his element and is just a, a guy who's, as Sean said, making it up as he goes.
Sean's going in the advertising business. We're going to talk more about this coming up. I just want to know if you buy Christmas gifts for your kids, though, I Sean. I, are you kidding? My wife spoils them rotten on Christmas. But <laughs> guys, good to see you. No You're a great I'm American. Telling you, I'm, I'm worried about these kids not getting Christmas and birthday I'm presents, guys. Gallagher. I mean, Mike, they're going to wind up, up. Sean. They're going to wind up on a bell tower someday if we don't send them presents. <laughs> Let's collect, well, Sean. I'll, I'll tell you what. I will mail gifts if they'll accept Good. them from me. I think but, we should do but that. But after all, Barack Obama's <laughs> mad at me. And, you know, by the way, my invitation remains for Senator Obama. Come on the show when we come.